Oh, uh, what's going on, guys? I'm Adolid, and welcome back to Talent of Light. The pretty much, how do I, how do, how do, you, how do you really describe this game? It's supposed to be based on, I guess, factual events. You know, maybe not down to the T. You know, facts. But it's supposed to be based around that and developed a, a horror game around it. And it's supposed to actually have like really like a bad psychological thing for it. And it like might mess you up or something like that. But so far, in the first chapter of this game, because the game goes by chapters, um, we didn't really get scared or anything. We did discover this creepy ass doll though. Who's all shattered and now we're holding on to it. I don't really know what we're supposed to do now. That's locked. There's really not much we're, I don't know what else we're supposed to do. We're besides get this doll. <coughs> also, I have I was sick and now I'm better. The only thing I have now is a cough, which is not so bad. This is kind of opened up. Just this feels open to me. You know, it's kind of just calling. It's kind of just calling you to it. What the fuck was that? We're we going somewhere. Let's go. Can we, I guess we gotta close the door first. Can we bring that? No. Does not work because the door is open. I, I just close a fucking door. There we go. Jesus. Wow, that is really loud. Something creepy about these kind of elevators, man. Because they're just so, like, open. What the fuck's over there? Are we on a different... I feel like we're on a... No, no, we're on the same... Okay, we're on the same floor. <clears throat> I was gonna say, man, it's gonna be kind of weird. He'll get angry. I know he'll get angry. Who'll get angry? We can't run in this game either. So now we gotta go do something else. I don't know what else we have to do. So we're just gonna kinda wander, I guess. Whoa, that is really cool. I can't believe I didn't see that before. Hello? Okay, I heard some knocking that time. Do I want to go back outside? I doubt that too. Guess I can't go through a single door. Sure, it's warm in the sun, but it gets cold in the evening, and that's not good for Charlotte. I think she's trying to tell me stuff, like hints. Like, I can't... Like, she doesn't want me to go to certain places, and so I gotta do stuff to make this doll happy. Which I'm pretty sure... God, lady, this stuff's hard to close sometimes. Which I don't know exactly what it is. What the fuck is this? This is gonna be some... This is a door! But I can't go into it. That should be something. Maybe. Later. I guess. Whatever. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I'm supposed to go over here. He doesn't want to. Okay. Not Charlotte. So I'm not supposed to go there. Is this game not going to tell me anything? Like of what I'm supposed to do. Charlotte is okay. cold. Let's take her somewhere warm. Huh. Those lamps could make the room warmer. But Charlotte's not happy. She doesn't feel well. She's all cracked up. What do you want me to do? Okay, so this is definitely going to be like a puzzle puzzle adventure. I got to put things together. And she doesn't feel well. So that means there's a specific room that I need to take her to. Dang, I need to find the. I need to look at the map then. Maybe the map will actually help me of where I need to go. <clears throat> okay, so she doesn't feel well, right? So, surgery, surgical ward, gynecology. Where's gynecology? It's right next to the elevator. Um, uh, inpatients number eight. Maybe no. That's. I have no idea where that is. Six, seven. I don't know. Where's eight? Maybe it's downstairs. Hmm. So I could try going to the inpatient, but that's locked up. See? 
So I can't go there. So maybe it's someplace downstairs. I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to have to go up and down, up and down a lot. <clears throat> this thing better not be creepy either. So she doesn't feel well. Where should I take you? What's here? What's this one say? So nine. Oh, so this is an observation ward. Yeah, eight's the observation ward. Hmm, five. Conf no. You gotta talk to me. Give me, you know, get you give some. I, you know, take some. You know, and we both get out of this alive, I guess. What the fuck? Is this the right place? Because it's kind of feeling like it. I mean, she just had like a. a so hold on, what what just happened? Okay. So Jay's and memories. There's no documents of that yet. There wasn't anything of that. So what what was what did they just experience? Was it an experience or just a memory? Oh, we're going down the stairs. Neato. What's this? Ooh, there's a downstairs thing. Ah, that I can go into. Oh, well, this is perfectly nightmarish. I can seriously go down in here? Fuck this. With this... this. I can't even see with this fucking doll. Oh, shit. The cellar. I can't even see. But I got an achievement called the cellar. God, can I just put you away? Fuck that. That's scary. I'm closing you too. Come on, close. I'm guessing that's all it means is that she that's all she wants is just one bed. You know? If I can find a bed for her, then maybe she'll be able to fall asleep. But the only beds I've seen... Let's see. No, those don't count. The bed up here, it's too cold, apparently. There's a spot in here that she said is perfect, but she doesn't feel well. So I guess i got to find another spot. Everything in this place is locked or not used. Ooh, I wonder if I can use that. That makes sense. Fucking finally. Charlotte will be comfy here. But it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll go away. <clears throat> Am I going to be pushing Charlotte around now? This is so weird. So this is definitely going to be one of those types of games that I'm going to have to, like, look at everything. Like, freaking everything. Alright, well, I'm just going to go do this. Don't do anything creepy. Okay, good job. Because I think I know where you need to go. <clears throat> I think you need to go upstairs. Which I hope you can fit in here. Dude, I'm so right. We got this, Charlotte. We got chapter two down. I'm telling you. It's going to be totally easy to get past this chapter. Because there's not going to be anything that's going to jump out at us. Or be psychologically scaring. Scarring, I mean. Okay. <clears throat> Can I? There's not going to be a way for me to turn around, is there? This is going to be a nightmare. They get back. Oh, I fucked it up. There we go. We're coming. Ooh. Nothing's this way. <clears throat> well, I can't. Are you serious? Can you not fit through the door? Oh, I was about to say. It's like, come on, man. I didn't gain these big hips for nothing. The cold has gone away now. You see? The light. The warmth. Can't even see those cracks anymore. We can anymore. do it. The cold will go away. It has to. 
Now we can enter the ward where everything started. H to receive help. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. Oh, what's that? Is this just the beginning? Good God. I mean, granted, I mean, I guess I could have been paying more attention to some of this stuff because I'm pretty sure they... What was that? Now I'm hearing scary stuff. Observation ward is number eight. Spouse wire. What the fuck is this noise now? Oh god, it's so so loud. Oh jeez, here we go. Oh right. I can tell that I am not I am not welcomed here. Is this doing the whole extended hallway thing? I have a feeling it is. Oh jeez, that is a drop. Oh my gosh, that is really far down. And I can't back up. <clears throat> All I can do is look. Oh, it's, what the fuck? This is kind of a trip. What the junk? This is some Inception stuff. This is super Inception right now, man. This is this is really cool too. Whoa, this is. Kind of out of a loss for words at the moment because it kind of just ramped up from being annoying to kind of really cool. You know, like almost like, Jesus, I don't understand what the hell's going on. To, I mean, I still don't understand what's going on. That it's, but it's like, whoa. Supposedly, like each chapter in this, this supposed to actually like represent something too. And I'm kind of wondering what this represents. One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. Well, that's kind of good, because I, I don't like it the dark. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 years old, and I was afraid, always afraid, a fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I couldn't speak. I was terrified of everything, even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. Oh, geez, I they look stopped up. living in there. They look terrifying, too. They dragged me away and stripped off all my clothes, everything. What? I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I was alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. <clears throat> it was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. Oh, well, this just transported me to a new area. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm just kind of sitting here, I guess. What's your name? That was a naked lady. There's a... Oh, you're talking to me now. Oh, you're smiling. She was my only hope in this hell. I was descending down down among the damned but that woman and her smile kept me alive that's good you had somebody I 
did I end up here? I want to want to lay down on these mattresses. I'm pretty sure they got like all kinds of like bed bugs. All right, so that's a that's a thing. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it quits for this episode. I mean, a lot of it was kind of me wandering around trying to figure out that I guess that puzzle, and then learning about her origin into this asylum which doesn't sound good and we're probably going to learn about her one and only friend here um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take a darker turn as we step through these doors as most of these games do because I'm pretty sure this is not a happy ending but anyways <clears throat> I feel coughing fits about to come on and that's another reason why I'm about to end this episode so I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time